dot OOs can be hard to learn and they can be a pain when they show up in solves but this video will show you how to easily learn all eight of the dot OO cases. So the first case is this one. Uh, it can be recognized by having two 3x1 bars uh, on the sides. So with this case, we want to hold the 3x1 bars, one on each side, so one on the left and one on the right, and we want to use this algorithm. So it starts with an RU2, an R prime, and then into a sledgehammer, and then we insert this F F12 pair with another sledgehammer. The second case is this one. Uh, it can be recognized by having this 3x1 bar uh, on one of the sides and two of these 2x1 bars at the front and back. So with this case, you want to hold the 3x1 bar so that it's facing the left side and we want to hold these two 2x1 two bars, one at the front and one at the back, like this. And then we use this algorithm, which is, uh, once again, quite a simple algorithm. It's F, sexy, F prime, and then you've got the wide F, sexy, F prime. So the next two cases are actually quite similar to each other. Uh, they both kind of look like this. They have one yellow in the middle and one corner oriented. So with these cases, we always want to put the oriented corner, so the one with the yellow on it, towards the right side of the cube. So on this side, but in a way that we could still see this 2x1 bar here. So if we put the yellow corner here, it's still towards the right side of the cube, but there's no 2x1 bar here, so this is the wrong way to hold it. We want to always hold it so that we can still see a 2x1 bar here on the right hand side. So after we do that, we want to use this algorithm, which is once again, fairly simple algorithm. So it starts off with a wide F, sexy, F prime, and then we go into this OLO, so the T-shaped OLO, which is just normal F, sexy F prime. So as I mentioned before, this case, really similar to the previous one. Once again, there's uh, the yellow in the middle and one corner oriented. And remember, we always want to keep the oriented corner on the right hand side. So if we put the corner here like we did last time, then we don't actually see the 2 by one bar here which means it's the wrong way to hold it because we want to hold the corner on the right side in a way that we still see a 2 by one bar. So now in this case, we do see a 2 by one bar, so this is the right way to hold it. And it's a really similar algorithm to the previous one. It also, it, once again, it starts off with the wide F, sexy, F prime, and this time we still get a T shape. So we want to solve this with the uh, normal F, sexy, F prime. So with these dot cases, these can be recognized by one uh, yellow in the middle and two corners that are oriented, which are next to each other. So these yellow corners, they're next to each other. Um, and so there's two of these cases. Uh, the first one here we have here has the three by one bar at the front. So with this case, uh, the algorithm for it is really simple. We want to hold the 3 by one bar here at the front, and it's wide soon, followed by wide anti-soon. So like this. And then the anti-soon. So the next case we have here, uh, similar to the previous one, it's also got one yellow in the middle and two corners oriented, and they are, once again, right next to each other. But this time, there's no 3x1 bar at the front here. Um, there's just a dot here. So once again, we still want to hold it this way so that this dot is at the, at the front. And then we want to use this algorithm. So it starts off with an M, U, and then sexy, M prime. And then we insert this F2 pair with a sledgehammer. So moving on to these dot cases, uh, once again, these have two corners oriented, but they are now opposite of each other, not next to each other. So with these cases, uh, you can recognize it by these two sides having the single uh, no bars and the other two sides having these bars. So we want to hold, you can remember it like the sides with the no without bars, we want to hold one of them towards us and one of them towards the right hand side. And then we want to use this algorithm. So it's R, U, R prime, U. And we've got the sledgehammer. Then we bring it back. 
the F2 pair, we insert with another sledgehammer. The final Ololo case is this one here. It's got one in one yellow in the middle, all four corners oriented and all four edges not oriented. So it's really easy to recognize this case and it's also really rare as well. So it barely ever shows up, but when it does, it's good to know the algorithm for it. And it's also a, quite a simple algorithm as well. So it starts off with like a wide sexy, goes into an M2, then an inverse sexy, and then we just do a U prime M prime to finish off. So that's it for the full all made easy. I hope you learned something from these videos and uh, thanks for watching.